what's it like to go on the road as a sideman in independent music? And I wanted to kind of document this process because that's something I'm going through right now. And I figured I asked other people about it. So I wanted to share my experience about what it's like getting on one of these, I guess, independent DIY tours. So long story short, um, there was, I saw a singer songwriter who posted something on Facebook uh, that he was looking for someone to go out with him for a month for an upcoming tour and specifically a drummer. And I knew this guy because I almost did a short weekend run with him last year and I really liked his music and I followed him since then. And so after emailing, you know, a few videos and samples of my playing and we chatted on the phone, he got in touch with me and said, hey man, the gig's yours if you want it. Uh, and I was like, cool, great. And I said, what does it pay? And it paid not what I thought it was gonna pay. Uh, Pretty much for a month of going out on the road, I could make more here working two weeks, playing in Nashville, playing on Broadway, uh, you know, playing a four hour shift. And I also have my other business where I do injury rehab for musicians out of my home. So in two weeks, I definitely could make more than I would on a month on the road with this guy. But then there's the other side is, I don't want to be just playing in honky tonks or doing cover bands the rest of my life. And there's nothing wrong with that, but it's, you know, that's paying the bills. Also, my work here is paying the bills, but I want to play music that I like and enjoy. So I asked a few friends of mine, some people I respected. For example, I asked one guy who's a little bit older than me. He's like a big brother to me. We went to college together. He's a very successful drummer playing on some major tours right now. And I asked him what he thought. And he said, man, if you're doing these DIY tours, you're pretty much, you're not going to be networking with anyone. You're just going to be there for a day and go on to the next thing. And it's kind of, you have to be in it for the adventure because you really like it. And maybe if I was in my 20s, that would be great, but you know, I'm not. I have other priorities here, other responsibilities. So that, that was something I took into account. I asked another musician here in town that I play with and I respect the hell out of because he worked his ass off. He's a great player and he does stuff locally and nationally. And he told me to take it. He didn't even hesitate. He was like, if you want to be playing original music, Go ahead and do that. You know, you can do the gigs here in town as a way to save up for these these ventures. But basically, if you want to work in original music and that's more fulfilling, do that because all the work on Broadway, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's like you're doing it kind of as a vocation versus if you're going out and playing original music, you're kind of more doing it as an art. And another friend of mine, a guy who's a very successful content creator, has a, you know, a great podcast. He was kind of like, well, if you're making money here in town, you know, it's like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, and, you know, what's your end game? What's your goal? And that, that's something I, I really had to ask myself. What's my end game? What's my goal? What do I want to do? And just based on all these unique circumstances, there's not a right or wrong answer. So he came at me with a number which was just pretty low. And I said, listen, for four weeks, I need this amount of money, um, and I'm gonna be taking a big pay cut. I'm gonna be away from my wife, I'm away from my dog, away from my bed, away from food that I like. Like, I like eating regular food, healthy food. I like sleeping in my bed, I like working out regularly. And being on the road is a grind sometimes, and there's a lot of uncertainty. And I said, I like your music, but here's the bottom line, man. It's like, I'm gonna take a hit and I need this. And he said he wasn't sure if he could do that, and I said, okay, I respect it either way, man. Um, you know, maybe I'll ask around, see if I could find another, like, you know, some kind of sponsor. And long story short, got back to me a few days later. He said, hey, listen, it's going to be, instead of four weeks, it's going to be about three. We're going to do a week of work here in Nashville. And I can pay you this, kind of like, you know, in this middle ground. And, you know, I talked with my wife and looked at the numbers and there's no clear-cut answer. It's not like absolutely yes or absolutely no. But really what I want to do with my career is, you know, I'm in a place where I kind of want to explore things. I want to do things aside from just making money, but I also need to make money. So I said yes, and I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the most out of this opportunity. Either way, I'm going to learn something. So I kind of wanted to document what's going on. I just said yes uh, last night, and 
you know, I'm a little bit nervous about the uncertainties of it and about what the future is going to hold because a lot can change. We're not leaving for about six weeks. So I got about six weeks to get some money together, to get some logistics together, but I just really wanted to kind of record something that I'm probably going to upload a little bit later once this is all said and done just so I can document the process. Again, it's not really necessarily for my ego, but I'm like, what would somebody else, what would another musician benefit from? And I'm just really sharing my experience um, in case anybody is curious about, you know, what's it like being a musician and struggling with making these, these decisions? Because there's so many different ways things can break. There's so many decisions to make. And yeah, that was my decision. So I'm excited to see what happens. And I'm using this also as a kind of stimulus to start making some more content and sharing what I do so other people can see what an experience is like being a working professional musician.